governor of Ohio State, because they believe he knows mathematics, he will be able to calculate the money in Ohio State. But at the end of the day, what happened? Praise the Lord. Subtract 50 from 2012 and give me the answer later. He attended Methodist Boys High School. Sorry, Methodist Primary School, Irolu. It's from Irolu, Jebu. I've been to that town once. Praise the Lord. I know your town very well. I thank God your hometown is not where to. It's not where to. This way to. Your own is not like that. He attended Methodist Boys High School. Any Methodist Boys High School boy in the house? You. Please clap for that boy, ladies and gentlemen. At least I know his school very well. If you are about to enter in battle from the toll gate, you see the school uphill like that. My brothers went to that school. But the Lord blessed you, Mr. Steele. He's a steel engineer. He met his wife in 1984. Some of us were still wearing pants in those days. When we were wearing bra and playing on the sand. Oh, I love to play in, this, in the rain. But I dare not allow my children to do that here. With pants alone, you know, you do it judiciously. But the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. He got married in 1986. But we thank God they did not go a bit before marriage. Am I lying? Praise the Lord. So children know, Mr. Tessaya's children, you better listen to that though. Mommy and Daddy did not go a bit before they married though. I know him very well, he's a very nice man. I have to say this today. One day he came to his house, to my house with his friend, and I was looking for a job. And I just said, I'm tired of working in this, getting looking for a job up and down. But he you know, told me to go to somewhere, and I got a job that day. But the Lord bless you for that. Even if nobody will come out to say one good thing about you, I'm a living testimony. He did that in my life, and I can never forget that in Jesus' name. That was a national pain. That was the job I enjoyed most in my life in this island. May the Lord bless National Pen wherever they are now. Praise the Lord. Now we need three men or three. Please, if your head swells, don't allow anybody to lag him out. Please give them a round of applause. I've not told you to stop. Have I told you to stop? Continue. Praise the Lord. Anybody here for me, Jemu? They said to 
family belonged here, you was led to abuse. Eh, eh. And I took a child, sat down. I said, eh, in this town, where they got this Anobisa and Belebe, you is abused. What is this? They say, well, the first person they were calling the class, then the teacher said, like, everybody said, like, everybody said, like, can I? When the teacher called you in the class, Tola, that is Otilo's daughter. Tola, can we have you, please? I should not be last for what you have the last one. Praise the Lord. Please give Tola a round of applause. I've known her a very long time. She's a very nice girl. She's very good. She's very respective. And the Bible, because the Bible says we should decree a word, it shall be established. In this land of the living, we will all live to see you rejoicing. In the name of Jesus. Please say amen. At least no phone call, no pinging, no dancing, no winging in Jesus' name till the end of the day. Amen. Thank you, man. All right. Um, thank you all for coming, first of all. Thank you for uh, making this a special day for my dad and for all our family. Um, my speech is in here, so I'm going to read a bit out of it. So, so first of all, we'd like to thank God for, obviously, for our dad's life. And I want to start off by saying, in 1962, we all know that something magical happened that year. Something, something, I'm sure something great happened. And as part of that year, obviously, we also know that on the 6th of July, something magical happened to my family, and that's my dad. Because, because without him, we wouldn't be here. Me and my brothers and sisters, we're all here today because of them. And then also, something magical happened to my mother, obviously. And she married a wonderful man. She's, um, she's very happy, clearly. That's why she did all this. And, and um, so basically also, I just want to say thank you for being such a wonderful dad. Thank you for being a caring and supportive um, man. Thank you for being a, a great man of God. Thank you for being um, a loving man that always looks after us and everybody else. If you if you're anybody here that knows him, you know that he's a lovely man that like that, that cares about people. So basically, as a girl, as a daughter, what I've learned from my father, everybody knows here, I'm sure everybody's a parent in some way or the other. As a child, you look up to your parents and you look up to your father, especially girls, you look up to your father and you wanna you look into him and wanna see the kind of man he is, so you look for that kind of man in your husband. So basically <laughs> So basically, my dad has taught me to look for a lovely, respectful man, to look for a man that is caring, that listens to you, that has a, that is God-fearing, that has a, um, that you can cry on their shoulder, that listens, listens to you no matter what, and supports you no matter what is going on in your life. So I um, would like to thank you, all of us, my Taiwo, Kende, Eniola, Edward, we all appreciate you, we all love you, we thank you for bringing us um, to a great land of many possibilities because obviously our parents brought us here. So uh, we thank you, we love you and we hope that you will grow and grow and grow to your 200. <laughs> but uh, you continue to grow in strength, in God, in everything that you lay your hands on. Uh, because we know that whatever blessings that come into your life also come into our life. So we, uh, we thank you for being such a lovely dad and um, enjoy your day. Happy 50s. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to skip two numbers among the children and we'll go to the last one. Eniola, can we have you in the house please? Please give Eniola a round of applause. I don't live with them, so you just spare me with that. Second to the last, so you have a junior one, right? Praise the Lord. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. Um, I just have a little words to say. Uh, <laughs> Dear Dad, happy 50th birthday. I want to thank you so much for raising me up. 
I love you so much. You're the best dad a girl could ever ask for. If I could come back to this world, I wish you were still my dad. He's sweet and loving, patient. He always understands me. He is, he is and will always make a big difference in my everyday life. Always managing to put a smile on my face, even when his days aren't so good. My daddy is my hero. He is my best friend, who I can always trust, and I don't have to worry about being misjudged. He is my daddy, and above everybody, he is who makes me feel very happy. The truth is, I love my daddy. And, um, I want to thank everyone who helped with this party, with the like cooking, the decorations, and the wonderful cake. On behalf of my family and I, we thank you so much, and thank you for. Praise the Lord! I used to think I love my daddy. I used to tell people, when did you hear my daddy is dead? Just bring water to come and wake up a fainting soul. But now I have a boss. She loves her dad more than me. Please give her another round of applause. Also to say something today is our mommy in the Lord, Pastor Mrs. Oki. Please give her a round of applause. Solid Rock Church, Southside Droida. Praise the Lord. Just listen to her. You know, I told you there are some pastors. Listen to her. <laughs> God bless you. Before I say anything about my brother, he's my brother. He's my brother. In fact, I would say he's my brother. Maybe um, I was born after him. sees them 
they will show them favor. Favor from heaven. They will see favor of God. They will see favor of man. And they will see the favor of people. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. And since then, I respect you a lot. And we have never ceased to be a brother, a family. And I thank God. Your daughter is not able to be here today because she's working. But I know, I've talked to her this afternoon, she's very happy. As you clock 50 today, you will clock 60, you will clock 70, you will clock 80, you will clock 90. Like our MC said, until you are tired. Until you said, oh, thank you, Lord. You will see the children of your children. As your children, they are all good children. The Lord will continue to give them the heart to be able to walk in His righteousness in the name of Jesus. Continue to be who you are. Always be sincere. Always be truthful to people. You love to help. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I will only say a few things about Otilo Temitope uh, Joseph Otasa. He's been a friend for ages. You know, he's been my friend from right from Nigeria. You know, so I will do most things together. He's a nice guy. When he's annoying, you know he's annoyed. When he's okay with you, you know he's okay. And that's what friendship is all about. So, he's a nice guy. I wish you many, many years on this earth in good health and in prosperity. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. If I can hear you very well, you said you do things together. Is your wife in the house? Where is she? I wonder why you are not doing another surprise party for your wife husband today somewhere. Please give them a round of applause. If you see anything happening today, please don't be, don't be surprised. Mrs. Otesoya is trying to play a return match for the husband. I remember some few years ago, a long year, many years ago now, maybe seven, eight years ago, there was a surprise party for the wife as well, and we thank God for that in Jesus' name. Now, I called on somebody to bring the knife. Do we have the knife here? Can we do the cutting of the cake now, please? So that they can dance, we don't have enough time. The woman herself. The CEO, GMG, IMO, AKA, Fant Cake Fantastic. Did I get it right? Uh -huh. I know you will, you will talk now. Where are you?